greetings and welcome back to the channel guys so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys as well as showing you exactly what my beauty setup looks like how i create my setup for beauty content what i'm also going to be doing is to share with you guys some tips some tricks as well as some hacks that you can apply to your own content to your own setup in order to elevate your content quality now if you are interested do not go anywhere sit back relax and let's get right into this video so again i just want to say hey what's up if you are here for the first time if, if it's your first time stopping by hi my name is kelichi Bermana, uh, and if you are a returning subscriber hey girl hey guy what is all guys so in this video like i said previously i'm going to be sharing with you guys how to create your own beauty setup basically things that you should focus on and you should look out for also things that you're going to be needing if you're someone who is or who would be filming beauty content on the regular now again if you guys are not new here you already know that on this channel we talk all about production setup lighting camera studio setup everything related to production the production aspect of youtube the business aspect of YouTube the strategy aspect of YouTube basically the whole entire YouTube package now this video is not different because I do create beauty content and I feel like sharing with you guys ways on how you could shift how you could reform how you could revamp your own set and basic things that you can do to be honest with you so yeah <laughs> i just want to say that i just wanted to say that out um before we get started with this video so yeah let's get right into it so just so this video is not repetitive because um some of the things i'm going to be talking about are things that i've spoken about in my previous setup video in my studio tour i'll leave them over here so you guys can see um, my camera settings lighting settings everything is what i'm currently and still using so in case i don't emphasize more on these things on my camera or my lighting just know that i have a very detailed video on everything relating to anything i mentioned in this video i'm gonna be leaving the links in the info bar right here so you guys can check it out when you're done with this video okay so i have been creating beauty content for the past i want to say six years and i've gone through a lot of all the phases when it comes to setting up you know anything and everything is possible as a creative because with creating you are turning something ordinary into something extraordinary and that's the amazing thing about it right so whatever level you are at at this point in time it doesn't matter if you're a beginner you are intermediary you are an expert it doesn't matter um, what i'm currently using to film is nothing that i feel like should be considered because what i want to do is to use what you have and elevate that in this video or what i'm currently filming with as you guys already know is a canon m6 mark ii i've been using this camera for well over i think two to three years if i'm not wrong yeah i think about two years and it's been amazing it shoots in 4k it's crisp autofocus is amazing however you can almost get the same quality with your mobile phone you can still get the blurry background you can still get the smooth skin effect if you guys are into that i'm using my this is my samsung by the way i'll show you what that looks like in a bit but i just wanted to kind of point that out um this is also the sunny one this is the sunny zv1 i have a video on my vlogging setup but if you guys would want to see me creating beauty content using this let me know down in the comment section but this is amazing because i feel like this is an all-round um camera for beginners it's a content creation camera and it suits whatever content you're creating lifestyle beauty whatever it is it is amazing start off with your smartphone if this is what you have i'm going to quickly show you guys what the quality looks like i'm also going to add a little bit of skin smoothness because why not less than a minute so you guys can see the quality that it gives off um this also has different features at different settings and you can definitely play around with your mobile phone let me know down in the comment section if this is something that you might be interested in what is amazing is less of the camera and more of the lens guys this is so important whenever you're filming like beauty related content you want to keep the focus to this level right here to your upper body level so typically i'd advise to alternate between 30 mm lens 50 mm lens and depending on the space that you have to work with um i also want to mention that i'm filming with a crop sensor camera however i'm pairing my lenses with the Viltrox adapter. What that Viltrox adapter does is that it gives off that full frame look. So yeah, I alternate between 
the 30 mm lens from sigma and this 50 mm lens from canon 30 mm lens would be amazing for creating beauty content so that way you get more view if you're doing like hair tutorials that you guys can see you guys can see like my entire hairstyle um if i want to kind of move in closer a bit to do like a more detailed tutorial I could definitely push in a little bit more and you can get that view if you, if you get what i mean let me switch over to this one i think i've done this at least a million times on this channel but let me switch over to this 50 mm lens so you guys can kind of see what i'm talking about can we see that yeah this is the thing with the 50 mm lens i feel like it is amazing for like beauty content if you can get it right it gives off this beautiful blurry background and it focuses on your face so yeah moving on is my favorite and you guys already know that if you're watching this and if you're not new here and that is lighting when it comes to content lighting is key but when it comes to beauty content the perfect lighting is everything and it's it gives the tone it sets the tone for the complexion products you're going to be using the foundations the colors all of that you need to make sure that you're getting the light right so personally for me i am a sucker for natural lighting i'm going to show you guys what i have working with me what i'm using currently um i do have a full detailed video on my lighting setup i'll leave the video here again please do check it out it's it's i think it's one of the best um informative content i've created when it comes to like lighting i do have more content on lighting as well but um when it comes to lighting i'm so passionate about it i currently film with natural lighting guys this lighting is like butter it is like butter mixed with like ice cream okay that's not a good mix it was like chocolate mixed with ice cream like with toppings of like it's just beautiful i film using my natural light i have a huge window in front of me right now and that is what i'm using right now and it is everything and something that i also do is to complement the light with my studio lights and my studio lights are also amazing they are another alternative for filming if i don't have natural light and again if you guys started following me when i started creating um setups and all of that you will see that in my previous i'll leave the link here again so you guys can see in my previous um i think 2020 filming room setup i had no natural light i was filming strictly using studio lights and it was amazing check it out check it out please do check it out it was amazing it is still amazing i still love that setup but now i'm looking for more a more lean a more efficient a more clean setup and that is what i have working with so yeah i kind of like to complement my studio light with my natural light and the reason why i do that is that because my windows are not um full length windows they are not from top to bottom i do have issues with like shadows over here right so i have my lighting right here i have two lights in front of me and one light behind kind of illuminates me and what this does is that it kind of fills in that shadow and it makes a world of difference so these lights are from young no lights if you guys are interested again check out the video I have all the details i'm going to quickly just turn them off off right the background looks a bit dark but when i turn it on it just fills in that shadow and it makes the background but also me pop at the same time so that's my hack on that so if you do not have a table get one this is going to change everything for you um you definitely need a table to set up your um product you're going to just need a place to keep things while you are doing your makeup you want to make sure that you are working effectively and efficiently so that way you're not going back and forth so have a table i love having a reflector on here because i'm going to show you guys how the light off my um, sunlight from my window how it's bouncing on this reflector and how this is bouncing back at me i have my laptop over here if you're filming with your camera your mobile phone and you can connect it to your um, laptop definitely do that you do need a bigger monitor as opposed to what you have going on on your camera or on your mobile phone and this helps a lot with makeup tutorials and it will save you a great deal of time this is what i have going on i also have this section over here these are my 
essentials, right? So it kind of makes the entire process easy for me when I'm filming. So when I'm done with one product or one brush, I put them in the dirty pile. And then when it's time to like clean up and wash up, I'll just grab it and do the needful. But yeah, um, that's on that. If you guys can do this, it helps with organization. It helps in efficiency. I have another basket that I kind of keep a bunch of things that I use on a regular, things that I need and I use on a daily. I kind of have the ease of reaching out to them and grabbing it. You can't do makeup without mirror. This is so important. And this is one that I've been using for years, guys. Do need the makeup. Um, you do need a mirror if you are filming makeup to kind of see what you're doing, see the entire process, and also make correction. But if you're doing makeup, you do need a mirror. You don't need to get these fancy ones. A basic one does the entire job. But what I like about this is that I could easily put this on the table and it will stand and I don't need to hold it. So I can like let this sit down on the table and be doing my makeup without having to hold my makeup my mirror and doing it but this if you can get a mirror that sits down <laughs> on the table that you need it's it it does help a lot okay so i think the last thing i'm going to talk about is your background the backdrop whatever you're using this for me is a point where you kind of let your creativity shine through and i feel like i see this a lot because when it comes to creating backgrounds you can literally do anything and everything you want so um currently this is what i have going on i do have my signage i do have green plants i have a table behind me where i kind of have more plants and my youtube plaque and more plants and more plants so i love plants i love pink plants i look i like that girly but still very earthy feel which is why i have like whites and greens and pinks going on behind me now if you want to replicate what i have going on again you can check out a couple of my videos and do that i also have videos or a playlist where i also try to replicate um big youtubers um beauty setup on a budget using what i have and different ways you can also create your own set i have like tons of videos relating to creating your own background your own backdrop so i'm gonna quickly set up my background just to show you guys okay so like i was saying you can go ahead to opt for a background i didn't set this up perfectly for this lens but it's going to look amazing once i put in this 50 mm lens let me just do that right okay so like i was saying um <laughs> i didn't set up the background perfectly for the 30 mm lens this is what 30 mm lens looks like by the way this is by sigma like i said previously and yeah this is what it looks like so i did not set this background perfectly for this one because again this one is wider i would need to stretch it out more but i wanted to kind of keep this within the 50 mm range this is what the background would look like and what i love about filming with backgrounds if you're filming like beauty content is that it keeps the focus on you you guys cannot see what is going on behind me and if you're someone who is filming in your bedroom like i used to and you don't want to show off that scene this kind of blinds out the entire scene if you're filming in your kitchen yes if you're filming in your kitchen or in your living room you can use this to create a bar barrier as well as a background and no one knows what goes on behind the scenes no one needs to know what's going on behind the backdrop and that's the amazing thing about it is that you can easily do and undo but when it comes to hanging up the background the backdrop your your fabric whatever you're using um Again, I do have tons of videos relating to how to hang your backdrops, whether you're hanging it from the ceiling, on your wall, whatever you're using. So yeah, if you're someone who is trying to create beauty content, the good thing about it is that you can play around with the colors and I feel like that's what I'm gonna do right now. Oh my goodness. Like I have totally forgotten how gorgeous it is whenever I film content using a fabric. <laughs> It does have a little bit of like shine shimmer to it and this fabric has like a 3d print on it again I'm filming with the 50 mm it does give me like that blurry background now guys if you want to be extra with filming something that you can do is to get a spotlight and place that light in front of you let me show you what I'm talking about when I'm done filming my videos and I want to do like an outro and I want like that um, glistening 
soft beautiful illuminated look with my um, makeup I love to use the spotlights just to add that illumination and effect to my face I've been using these lights for the longest time I've used this for a lot of my beauty content and as well as I've shown you guys these lights in my previous setup but yeah this is a sequin fabric you can get these super affordable um, super easy to install they are also quite stretchy as well so you can kind of stretch it out you don't need to like steam it or iron it or you know go through the extra stress just stretch it out and this is what it looks like you can do satin i think i do have a satin fabric here um these ones are a bit more shiny it's pink as well and it will give off like that shiny effect as well so you can play around with your fabrics. My fabrics usually cost around 2,000 Naira, which is equivalent to like maybe two, three dollars, depending on where you're buying it from. And it does the entire job for me. So, just to play around with the textures, make it look like a cutting like, or you can keep it straight and flat. But yeah, it depends on you, depends on your vibe, depends on what you're going for. And the good thing about it is that it keeps you in focus it keeps what you're doing in focus and less attention will be on the background yeah, um, if you are new here feel free to check out the entire playlist get yourself acquainted get yourself started with all of this and i do hope that they help you in leveling up your content if you're a beauty content creator but yeah um let me know in the comment section and i'll be more than happy to answer any questions if you guys have any suggestions as well and yeah i'll see you guys down in the comment section give me a thumbs up like that's how i know these kind of videos are amazing and i should be doing more of this like share comment and let's have an amazing time down there so i'll see you guys in the next one but till then you make sure that you stay fabulous and that you stay blessed bye guys <laughs>